Good morning, friends. I'm so glad you guys are joining me for another week of Bible stories on here. I hope you all are having an awesome start to your uh, school year, and I hope you all had an awesome week. So this whole month, we are going to be throwing a party. Woo! And everyone is invited. It's a big party because we're celebrating something that's important to all of us. Do you remember what it is? Friendship. Friendship is using your words and actions to show others that you care. It's important for us to have good friends, and it's important for us to be good friends, too. We can show others that we love them with the way that we speak and the way that we treat people. When we think about friendship, there are certain friends who always come to mind. In fact, there are two guys in the Bible who are pretty famous for their friendship. Jonathan and David. We can read all about their story in the book of 1 Samuel, which was written by a prophet named Samuel. Let me give you a little bit of a background first. Before this uh, story took place, there was a time when God had put people in place to lead his people, the Israelites. God had given them judges who guided them and prophets like Samuel who listened to God and shared his word with the people. The Israelites didn't have a king because God wanted his people to trust him as their leader. But the Israelites saw um, that all the nations around them had impressive kings. They begged God to give them um, a king too. Eventually, God told the prophet Samuel to choose Israel's first two kings. First, Samuel chose King Saul and later King David. King Saul was in charge, so everyone would have expected that his son Jonathan would be the next king, but God had chosen David to be the future king. King Saul chose David to lead his armies into, into battle, and David kept winning. Everyone seemed to love David. Jonathan could have been jealous of David, but he wasn't. David was his best friend, and Jonathan uh, was happy for him. He was happy about the big plans that God had for David. In fact, he honored David by giving him his robe and belt, sword, and bow. Jonathan wasn't jealous of David. He was a great friend, and he gave David some really special gifts, too, to show him that he supported him and believed that he should be king, too. However, King Saul was not happy about this. He saw how popular David had, was becoming with the people, and he became insanely jealous. In fact, Saul became so jealous that he threw a spear at David. It gets worse, though. Later on, King Saul told Jonathan and all of his servants to kill David. Jonathan wasn't going to let that happen. He told David what was going on, and he told David to hide while he went to... Um, talk to his dad. King Saul promised not to hurt David, but do you think he kept his promise? Not so much. Once again, Saul tried to kill David, and when he failed, he sent other men to try. Even though his dad was acting this way, Jonathan was determined to protect his best friend. He and David made a complicated plan. You see, King Saul was throwing a feast, and David decided that he would skip it. When the king asked where David was, Jonathan planned to make up a story just to see if he could test how angry his dad was. But when it came time to tell David how King Saul reacted, that's when they are going to pull their super secret spy plan into action. Jonathan planned to shoot an arrow in the air, and depending on where he shot it, David would know if he should stay or if he should run far away from King Saul. Before Jonathan left for the feast, he had one request for David. He said, we're going to read 1 Samuel chapter 20, 14 to 15. Always be kind to me, just as the Lord is. Be kind to me as long as I live. Then I won't be killed. And never stop being kind to my family. David agreed with Jonathan's request. And he promised to always be kind to Jonathan and his family. Things did not go well at the feast. King Saul was Curious when David didn't show up. In fact, on the second day of the feast, Saul got so angry that he threw a spear at his own son. Jonathan knew it wasn't safe for David to return, so he put their secret arrow code into action. 
When David saw the arrow flying so far, he knew that he could no longer uh, return to the place palace or spend time with his friend. Jonathan was sad to say goodbye to his friend, but he knew that it was the only way to keep him safe. Listen to what he had said to David. We're going to read 1 Samuel chapter 20, verse 42. Go in peace. In the name of the Lord, we've promised to be friends. We have said the Lord is a witness between you and me. He's a witness between your children and my children forever. Then David left the city while Jonathan went home to King Saul. That is quite a friendship story, wouldn't you say? Everyone had expected that Jonathan would be the next king after his father. That's usually how it worked after all, right? But God had chosen David to lead his people. It, w- it would have been easy for Jonathan to be angry or jealous, but instead he was a true friend to David. He even shared his best things with David and he helped David, he helped keep David safe from danger. And David's, uh, David was also a true friend to Jonathan. Years later, he kept his promise to show kindness to Jonathan's family. These two friends lived out a simple truth about friendship. Friends love one another. We can do the same thing that they did. Instead of getting angry or jealous, we can, show, we can choose to show love to our friends. We can support each other and defend each other and keep our promises to each other. Let's go ahead and close in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much for each and every one of these students, God, and their families. Lord, please um, help us remember this week how to be a good friend and um, help us show kindness to everyone that we meet, Lord. Thank you for everything that you do, God. Please protect these families as they go throughout their next week, Lord, um, and they go to school and work and Whatever they're doing, God, just protect them. And thank you for everything that you do. And God's let me pray. Amen. Thank you guys so much for watching another Bible story. And I hope to see you all um, today, later today at church, because we have our first uh, kids worship back. And I'm so excited. So I hope to see you guys there. Bye.